What do you do for a living? I make dough. You make dough? Pizza Hell yeah, dude. Respect. You were pretty proud of that one, huh? I make dough. I make dough pizza dough. <laughs> you popped up in pizza dough as if... As if I... As, you married up. Oh, really? Oh, nice. What does your wife do? Nice. She's a banker? Wow, good for you. How'd you do... How'd you swing that? Yeah. Is she hotter than you also? I mean, no. I hope so. Oh, no. Thanks. Damn, your wife is fucked up looking. If you're the hot one. <laughs> I guess you can't have it all rich, ever, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking So nine, you're not bro. doing the Bitcoin, the NFTs, none of that stuff? All that is bullshit. Okay. If you're a fucking dumb bitch if you have any of that. <laughs> and I want to be very clear about that. You hear that, Ma? Yeah. <laughs> Chris Rock and Will Smith, the comedians that were posting about it, it's like, you have nothing in common with Chris Rock. <laughs> you are not, you are only tech, the way like some guy says he's a podcaster, yeah. some guy off the street has like 30 followers, says he's, the way you and that guy have something in common with podcasting, that's the way most people posting about about Chris Rock had you know what I mean like they're only stand-ups in name only right. this is a fucking million two of the most famous guys of all time slapped each other it was hilarious right. it was really <laughs> fucking funny that somebody got slapped at the Oscars yeah some guy who's been publicly cut who's the most <laughs> the most beloved man in the world was cucked so hard his brain melted 30 minutes before he was gonna win his Oscar yeah. like it, it was incredibly incredible timing Will Smith has been the most like Scientologist manicured like yes. public persona jada got so much dick on the side that it fucking melted his brain and he slapped chris rock yeah. Mo i mean he was just gonna win his oscar yeah. it was if that's not fucking funny to you then what's the that's hysterical it's a very funny situation it's hysterical and it's, but now people are like you know we're great truth tellers out there and like i yeah it could be me next it could, yeah exactly oh really it's you next at fucking magooby's joke house <laughs> in, which is my home club i love it in timonia maryland no one is slapping you because you're like what the f my i don't get my wife doesn't suck my dick enough <laughs> it's like no one is about to slap you you fucking loser i hated that chick i will say i'm a big I'm a, I'm a very sex positive guy big fan of hoes right i think those are some of the finest people we have i'm serious here i'm not even trying to be Stavos, that's a red flag it, why is it a red flag you're sex negative? Is that what you're saying? You're slut shaming no, these I'm women? No, I'm not slut shaming it these women. It sounds like you kind of are. Well, I guess you're not looking for love, but still. Wait, wait, wait. Who says I can't fall in love with a hoe? Now who's so being fucking So now you're trying to turn a hoe into a housewife. I will absolutely. I'm Captain Save a Hoe over here. Are you? <laughs> yeah, for the right one. Okay, well, you yeah. need a cape. First of all, I'm a hoe. That's what I'm saying. You're being a little misogynistic here, Lawrence. I thinking, feel like we need that theme song, Who's a Hoe? <laughs> yeah. I think people that are letting it loose, better people. I've, they've been nicer, you know what I mean? They're like people that are just, you know, they're just having a good, they're having a good time. Hoes are nicer? I think so, absolutely. You Are you flabbergasted by this admission? I mean, I feel like I'm pretty nice. You're not, you wouldn't consider yourself a hoe? No! Why? Let's take the, let's take a the what? bite. What? I mean, not to be, I don't know, are you like a serial monogamous? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, boring, it sucks. You fucking stink. <laughs> you know, you know, That's a red yeah, flag. You don't want to go have like a fun time and suck somebody off and then give them a nice handshake afterwards. Really fun, you know. I mean, I do, but I, but I like to do it with the same person. That's okay, I guess. A teach his own, I suppose. But Is you this know, a Greek thing? I don't think it's a Greek thing. I think you're being a little judgy. Am okay? I? Yeah, I think you are, yeah. Salt room, are you ready for some comedy? <laughs> Blowing it. Yeah. Blowing it. Damn, dude. We got Don Pardo in the fucking building, the fucking announcer himself. Should I get that little. Should I get the crowd around here? You really am. Let's get ready. You didn't. You didn't go anywhere, buddy. You didn't, no vacation for you. What? No. No. You just had to work the whole summer. Yeah. What's your huh? I went to Anguilla. Anguilla. Okay, there we go. Who'd you go with? My parents and my husband. Parents and husband. Oh, that's cute. A little fucking family trip. That's adorable. <laughs> how old? Uh, how old are you? I'm thirty. Thirty. Okay, so it was like a proper family. Like you. Did you pay for yourself, or did your parents pay? 
Yo, wow, you're still on the fucking, you're still on the family fucking dime? Wow. Is your, your parents doing good, I guess? They're flying out your husband? Yeah. Damn, is that you? Do you, do you have a, you don't, you're not doing well, I guess? Or? <laughs> You're the, de you're the dead weight that they put up with because they love their daughter. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So you, are you more successful than him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, you're living the dream. You know, and let's be very clear, he, she's way hotter than him also. He's bringing... Dude, were you going through something when you guys met? You were married when you met him? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Now, okay, hold on, hold on. Was this... <laughs> so how'd you meet? Where did you, where'd you meet? What was... At work, wow. Wow, that work husband shit is real, huh? <laughs> you were his boss? <laughs> Wow, that's all. what was the job? What was the what kind of business was it? We're prosecutors. Prosecutors. Uh, <laughs> he was like, "Hey, I really like how you uh, sent that teenager to jail for life." Uh, that was real. <laughs> that showed real moxie. <laughs> Why don't we talk about it in your parents' beach home? <laughs> Anybody in here dealing with a little heartbreak? Anything? This guy is right here. Your friend just fucking ratted on you. Sorry, dude. How are things going? Everything okay? Yeah, you, dude. You're good? You don't sound good, man. It's all right. Ah, oh, man, I'm good. It's, all, it's not a big deal. Huh? Is it fresh? How long? Three months. That's all right. You're still in the. You're still in the zone. Nah, you're all right. Listen, don't fucking listen. Don't lie to me right now. Don't lie to yourself and don't lie to me. How did it end? Whose decision was it? Hers. Okay. See, you don't have to posture here, brother. It's all for you. Know? <laughs> it was hers. Were you, did you? How long were you guys together? Three years. Come on, what the? Come on, what are you lying to your friend stop for? Three years. You think three months you're over it, huh? Gotta get over it. Okay, this in nine months, this man is gonna fall to his knees and start sobbing. <laughs> He's gonna be at work. He's gonna be like, <laughs> 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 I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. <laughs> I fucking know she was the only one for me. <laughs> just looking at her wedding pictures and just sobbing. <laughs> the, that's your future if you don't fucking tell me what happened right now. No, I'm happy to be here. I, w I would like for the record to state <laughs> oh boy. that I you guys have had a lot of like big names. I'm very, I'm thrilled. You're a big name. I'm what are thrilled you talking to see, about? But you know, we're Star friends. Power. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure, sure. I'd like for the record that I did this podcast <laughs> when I was sure it would fail. <laughs> <laughs> that I I I'm returning now that it is a success and I'm very happy for you. But I remember getting the email and being like all right, I'll, I, those are funny guys. This, I'll do it for them. It was early too. Yeah, it, it was, was early. It was solid it pandemic. Was, it was like in the middle couple, of the pandemic. A couple of months into the pod. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, this is good. There, one last attempt, and then, <laughs> and then maybe if I'm at helium, they can feature for me. You know, that's kind of how I approached it, and I'm very happy to see you guys thriving. And I love it. Uh, it hurts because it's true, it. man. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> It hurts because it's true, dude. Well, I can say that's the, oh. the fact that you know the truth. Of course, means, means things are going well. Side of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've made it through the tunnel. We're on the other side. How are you guys doing? You guys are your lives good? No, right? <laughs> a little bit of this. What do you do? You have a job? What's your job? Basically, I'm finishing a degree. So I'm okay. Finished, but no, not really. No. Okay. What do you? What's the degree in? Which is great is uh, poli sci history. Poli sci history. How old are you? I, I am goddamn twenty seven. Twenty seven poli sci. <laughs> 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 Damn, bro, come on. Listen, I was a poli sci major at twenty years old, where I was like, I was like, this is important. Oh. This matters. <laughs> is it a is it a master's? 
It's, I'm building to a master. Okay, it's not a master. What you're saying is it's an undergrad. <laughs> you're building to it. That's awesome. Night, I like the spin you attempted there. <laughs> and one of these, he's like, uh. <laughs> it's, I'm building to a master's. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's such an awesome way to say it's an undergraduate degree. In many ways, you could say we're all building to success in life. <laughs> you know, a guy that, that quick on his feet, you'd think you'd know better than to get an undergraduate degree in political science at 27 in the middle of a, you know, when the world is falling apart. I don't know, it's, I don't know, man. I would do something else, but that's just me, you know? What, what's the, be uh, I don't want to keep attacking your life. I don't want to keep attacking your central life choice right now, but what do you think, how, what's the best case scenario of that, would you say? Like everything goes right for the next 10 years. Where do you end up with that? Just out of curiosity. I, I study Russian economics, so I can help oligarchs. You know. Okay, so you're trying to flip it. That's, and that's best case scenario. By the way, they would take one look at you, they're executing you, you know what I mean? You don't have, you don't have the sauce to be with Russian oligarchs, dude, all right? Some guy is feeding you to his links, you know what I mean? You make you miss one fucking comma on his spreadsheet. You're fucking you're rare fish food, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I would say dude, just uh, literally pick anything else and it would probably be a better life choice. <laughs> like we could play Mad Libs and come up with a better life choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's not, I'm trying to stop, but I'm finding it difficult to. I don't. That's the thing. Three minutes ago, I was like, all right, enough of this guy. Let's keep doing it. But I, there's something in my body that's for, that will not let me stop making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> There's people right in this room that run like a fucking erotic children's bookstore. And their plan is better than yours. You know what I mean? <laughs> in fact, before we start the jokes, I just want to, I want to seriously commend you, you know? Um, I think it was really brave of you to come out of the closet to deflect from the fact that you were doing brown face on this platform for years. So. <laughs> Kudos to you um, for pulling a Kevin Spacey. You also uh, pull a Spacey move every time uh, you interview Minecraft streamers, by the way. I mean, come on, dude. Could you do something less creepy? Like, I don't know, drive a windowless van full of ring pops and condoms around? Uh, thank you for putting this together, Austin. I know you're short on time today. I, I heard your boyfriend just got his braces taken off. Um, you had to sit up front, didn't you? <laughs> just you, you asked me, you have like a humiliation fetish or something like that? You truly, that is the disrespect. I know what my hair looks like, you have the dumbest hair possible. That sucks so much. <laughs> do you ever have, like, do your family members look you in the eye when you go to like, you go to baptisms and stuff, like, hey, did you wear a hat at the wedding? Are you trying to do white dreads like late in life? Is that what you're doing? You're, how old are you? 36. 36, and now is the time for dreads, you think? <laughs> then, when did you start this? What, what the fuck? This, I mean, why? You look like counting crow. You look like, you look like counting one single crow with your little fucked up dreads. That is such a bad idea. It sucks so much. Why are you doing it? And just the top, the bottom note, just, you just want a little... And this is fine, this is regular hair up top, just the bottom. Okay. How long are you gonna commit to this, do you think? And I'm gonna have to just look at you for an hour, is the other thing. I, I'm expecting to do jokes just while I have to intermittently see this guy's hair. He's, is it a joke? Are you gonna go home and shave your head? Was this like your thing where you're like, I'm, this will be funny. I'll, I'll, fuck a com I'll fuck up a comedy show by being so distracted with my horrible taste in my own hair. You couldn't be more in front of me either. There's no, you're not 
even sit where this guy is. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Why did you do this? Why? <laughs> All right, so you're starting over. What do you guys? Are you guys all friends? You live together? What do you do? Yeah, we're there. There. You just you're just a guy who's sitting here. Yeah. Why are your guys' thighs so much closer than them? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Some about your pheromones are attracting each other. Are you guys bi by any chance, or straight, or what? No. The shirt says otherwise. <laughs> I'm <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hack comedy thing, but his shirt is a bisexual shirt if I've ever seen it in my life. Notice I didn't say gay. That's the evolution in hack crowd work. Is you don't call them gay, you call them bi. <laughs> it is, for real though, it is kind of a blouse. Anyway, whatever. Uh, how we doing, guys, huh? Hell yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. This rocks a Wednesday, huh? Yeah, none of you motherfuckers have responsibilities, I'm guessing. I love this place. This is a great town, dude. This is such a good place to just give up. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the best. We were like, ah, I'm done achieving. My first three dreams didn't work out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go learn how to fucking unicycle and fucking open up a crystal shop. Uh, I love the vibes here, dude. This is a fucking great town. When I'm done, when I'm done with, you know, achievements, I'm coming here, dude. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How did you guys meet? Um, yeah. We grew up in the same hometown. Same hometown. Yeah. Oh, how long have you been together? Three years. Three years. Okay, nice. Good for you. So you moved here together or separate? I, or? I, I, was, well, I went to NYU and he moved here. Okay. I was, I was thin when we met. Oh, you were thin when we met. Damn, bro. Believe in yourself. God damn. <laughs> This girl clearly cares for you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was thin, not now, I'm a fucking piece of shit. So I wake up every day, I'm like, why are you with me? <laughs> God damn, bro, relax. You think that's what it was? You think, I don't know. No, no chance. He's the main character wherever we go. Oh wow, really? Wherever you go, not, you don't go to too many cool places, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's cute. I don't want to wreck your relationship. And so, so I think that has more to do with your outlook. But I'm, again, I'm not going to get into this. I'm not going to blow up his shit. Clearly, he's struggling. He doesn't need you. He doesn't need you to start seeing things clearly right now. <laughs> Oh,